Okay, here we are on Yasukuni Dori, just coming up to Yasukuni Shrine, which you can see over here. The big, the massive industrial sized tori, um, which is the big archway, uh, which literally means bird seat uh, tori. And that's the, uh, the shrine entrance uh, of the Shinto shrine. And this one is probably the biggest in Japan, I imagine, or getting pretty close to it. Okay, so here we are on the slope, going right up, uh, almost at the tori. Right behind me, you can see the nameplate or the name stone for the Jinja, for the shrine up here. Yasukuni Jinja, okay, which literally means. As it enshrines 2.5 million people who were killed for Japan in, in Japan's various wars. Okay, so we're through the tori, we're walking towards a big statue of uh, Omura Masujiro. So just to the left of the path that we came up now, there's uh, a collection of little stalls selling second-hand stuff, um, antiques, junk, um, let's have a look at it. Some of it's quite good stuff. This is like so. Some of the stuff here is quite good. This is uh, this is thirty thousand yen, which is about three hundred dollars. This uh, turtle here. So all sorts of instruments over here. Um, old telescopes, all sort of surveying equipment. I don't know what this is. Some kind of microscope. What are you on this guy? あ、測量。測量。ああ、そう、あの、フォーサーベイ。で、あの、フォーサーベイ。ああ、そうですか。ブーツ。あ、本当。え、フォーサーベイ。あ、本当。え、フォーサーベイ。あ、本当。え、フ
Okay, this is where you wash your hands before you go in, so uh, I'll go through the, uh, the uh, ritual. So this is the main gate of Yasukuni Shrine, so let's walk through. Very grand, made of wood. Uh, there's a big um, chrysanthemum symbol on the door. This chrysanthemum symbol is the symbol of the imperial family. It's kind of a it's kind of a pity we weren't here a couple of weeks ago because we've we've missed the cherry blossom, but there's still some plum blossom you can see up here. Plum blossom's equally as beautiful. In fact, it's uh, it's fluffier, it's bigger. I quite I like it um, perhaps even more than uh, cherry blossom. There's a lovely branch of it up here. And as we approach the shrine, um, you can see yet another torii. This one's uh, decidedly more simple looking than the two big concrete ones we've seen. This is a plain wooden one. Okay, this is the Chumong, or the third torii gate. And just behind it is the main hall, or called the Haiden. And behind the main hall is the main shrine. Now, unfortunately, we can't bring the camera through, the, through this uh, third shrine gate. So, um, I'm just going to go out there by myself, okay? Okay, so I went up to the main hall. Um, you can see right through the main hall, through to the main shrine. It's much, much simpler than a Buddhist shrine. Uh, there's none of the ornateness, none of the gold and silver. It's just uh, basically wood and tatami, and uh, the tatami mats made of rice straw. And right through to the shrine is also very simple. It's just like a couple of lanterns in the middle. There's the shrine. <coughs> you get a very simple shrine, which inside has a mirror. Yasukuni Shrine also has a, like a museum, okay? And at the moment, they're showing an exhibition called Kamikaze, okay? Kamikaze which literally means divine wind, referring to the people in the war who were made to crash their planes into enemy ships. And actually, the last time I came to Yasukuni Shrine, I met an old kamikaze guy who, luckily for him, his mission coincided with the end of the war. So he remained alive, he survived. And actually, if you want to read his story, just go to japanvisitor.com and type in the internal search engine, kamikaze. It costs 800 yen to go in here. Um, I'm not feeling that rich today, so I won't. But this is what it's like. There's an old steam train over here. And there's an old plane from World War II over here. Massive guns again from World War II. They've actually been in battle. It says they have bullet wounds on them, as you can see here. Uh, no,